Hi, I'm Mrs. Appleby, and I'm here in room 205, where I teach a couple of my classes. Uh, here in 205, we have English 3, which is American literature. We do um, some short fiction. We do four different pl or plays and novels. We do uh, poetry, and also we read some uh, nonfiction. So it's all American literature, and we try to mix it up every day with a little bit of, a little bit of something. Um, we're going to start by reading The Crucible about the Salem Witch Trials. Also in this classroom, um, I teach AP literature to the seniors, and we're doing Greek mythology right now. Uh, the AP Lit class is all about getting them ready for the AP literature uh, test that the College Board administers in May. And um, obviously last year we had a shortened version of that test, so we won't know, of course, what that test exactly will look like until we get a little bit closer. But it's usually some multiple choice, an hour of multiple choice, and then essays. In the other classroom that you don't see here is um, broadcast journalism. Broadcast journalism is an elective English course, and in there we learn how to use the cameras. We learn how to use microphones. We learn how to use um, the Premiere Pro, Adobe Premiere Pro software to be able to edit videos together. And we do all kinds of stuff with, in terms of the kinds of stories that they do. And then we publish them in the Irish informant. We do announcements. And then we do fun stories like pranks or running interviews in the hallways about quiz questions and what do people know. And then we do some public service announcements about environmental issues and social issues. And then just kind of highlight and profile Seneca High School. So it just could be just pretty, pretty much about anything up in broadcast journalism. Um, the other class that I teach is the class on the Holocaust. And usually it's in this room, but this year it's up in Mr. Baker's room because we're a bigger class. And the Holocaust is a study of the literature, the history, some poetry, and the film uh, that surrounds the Holocaust. So we start with Night by Elie Wiesel and uh, Schindler's List, which is a, a must-see movie if you're going to do anything with the Holocaust. And uh, so those are the two things that we start with in the Holocaust class. Then for the rest of the year, it's just the history uh, that we go through kind of chronologically. And then we take a time out to read another book, to do some projects, and uh, try to find the interesting things about the Holocaust. And I have, I think, 24 students in that class this year. So um, this is me. And again, I'm, on, I'm in 205 right now. Sometimes the kids find me up in 251, and sometimes in 252. So uh, if you need anything throughout the year, parents, then please email me at mar Appleby at SenecaHS.org, M-A-R, Appleby, um, and I'll for sure get right back to you. So thank you for sending your students to Seneca High School, and I hope we have a good year, no matter what the year looks like. Thanks.